Welcome back. In our previous episode, we talked about how to reach at this point where we were to obtain our consumer key and consumer wow. secret. In this episode, I would like us to go ahead and see how we can be able to generate our access token inside our Laravel application. So what I want us to do is here I have a fresh installation of Laravel, Laravel 10. And what I want us to do is to just create a controller, PHP, artisan mech controller. The name of our controller, let me call it KCB controller. KCB controller. That command will create for us our controller. After that, I would like to include it in create a route for it. And what I'm going to do, I will import it. Use app HTTP controllers, then KCB controller. After that, I would like us to have a route here. So I want it to be a get route. And I want it to be the route that you enable us to generate a token. So I will call it token. Obviously, eventually you'll be able to change it to something else because the token doesn't have to be accessed directly from the browser. But what I'm going to put here is a KCB controller class. And then we will pass in the method which I'm going to call token. I haven't created it already. I will go to app HTTP controllers, KCB controller, not this one, KCB controller. And inside here, I would like us to have our first method, public function token. And then, of course, I would like us to set the consumer key. We will set a value and the consumer secret. Then, of course, we will go to the website where we had the tokens and I'm going to copy the consumer key and paste it here. I will also copy the consumer secret and paste it where we have the consumer secret. After that, I would like us also to get the URL. In this case, what I mean by that is the endpoint to which we will be hitting for us to get the token. And we have the token endpoint here and we have the revoke endpoint. So if you want to revoke the token, you will use this um, endpoint. And if you want to generate the token, you will use this other one. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste here. Of course, when you're sending the request, you will use the grant type. And what we have here are the allowable uh, grant types. So you can use whichever it is that you'll be able to fit your use case. Of course, here you are asked to put a callback URL. In this case, since we are testing on localhost, I will just leave it like that. I think that is all about it. So let us go ahead and do a little bit of coding. I want us to set our post body, in this case, inside a data array. So in this case, we have array. And inside here, I want us to pass in several things that we have. So of course, the first thing that I want us to have is the grant type. And we have seen we have several options that we can be able to use. In this case, I'm going to use client underscore credentials. And then we will have the username and password. And then we pass in our consumer key for the username. And I will pass in our consumer secret for the password. I also want us to go ahead and uh, convert the data to an encoded query string. So in this case, what I'm going to do is to convert it. So I would like to save in a variable called post data and I want to encode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have HTTP build query, and then I pass in our data. So that is our post data. So whatever it is that we have here is what I'm passing into that line of code. I want us to set the curl options. So let me have a variable that I'm going to call options. 
and we are going to have an array and inside our array we are going to have several uh, values so the first thing that I want us to talk about is the URL cal cal option the URL and we are going to set to the value URL the variable that we have that we have above here so this URL here and then we are going to have calloped and the next thing that we have is uh, that we are using the post method so I'm going to set this to true and then we will have the post fields calloped post fields and this one we are going to have our post data so in this case that is what I'm going to pass here post data and then of course we are going to have the return transfer return transfer and even this one I'm going to set it to true after that we have the SSL verifier whether we will verify or not and this one you're going to set to false but if you are having a production application ensure that you set this to true and then of course we can be able to pass in our header HTTP header and this one I want it to be an array and what I'm going to have here is our authorization so what you have is um, authorization basic and then we will um, concatenate the base 64 encoding of our consumer key and consumer secret so basically what you are going to have is um, we will concatenate base 64 encode and inside here we are going to pass in our consumer key and then we will concatenate the full colon and then concatenate our consumer secret after that we can go ahead and initialize our cal session this is the end of our array here the options array and then after that now we can initialize our um, cal session so i'm going to save in a variable ch and then initialize our cal so i'm going to call cal cal init i will set the options cal array so we will pass in our variable and then the options after that we can then execute our cal so in this case we will save in a value variable called response cal exec ch in this case and then we can check if we have any errors so if cal error then we can be able to spit out what the issues that we have echo cal error and we can concatenate the error after that we can go ahead and close the cal session and finally we can echo our response if all goes well um, that you mean that uh, we will receive our token i had forgotten some semicolon somewhere so if all goes well in our request then we will receive our token if we have issues then we will maybe check and see so i'm running my laravel server on localhost 8000 and i want to visit the method token it is taking a while it means we have an issue so we have bad request so let me just pause and check uh, my code and see where i could be having some issues now i have typed this one in capital letters let me just change it to small letters and see if then our request will work we still have the same error the reason why we are having the challenge here is uh, because of a problem here i did put some space in between authorization and uh, the semicolon so i will remove that space and save after that if i attempt to check for the token now you can see we have our access token this is the end of this tutorial episode in the next episode we will look at how we can be able to consume the apis that are included 
in this Boonie API. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and you can also go ahead and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much.